Hey, Steve Mignogna here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport. Now, we all know the Chevelle arrived in 1964 as Chevrolet's first mid-sized car, and it took off and sold very well with the baby boomers and old at heart, or young at heart, I should say, folks who also dug Chevelles. But of course, when you see Super Sport on a Chevelle, you're looking at a high performance model, uh, at least from 66 through 70. They were all big block powered. Yeah, you get small blocks before and after after that time period. But in 1970, the pinnacle year, this is the year you could get the SS396 or the SS454. So again, with the quad headlights, one year only body, many people agree that 1970 was the pinnacle year for the Chevelle Supersport. Now, before we open a hood and determine which engine we have here, we've got to remember that the hood itself is the standard power dome hood found on all Chevelle Supersports in 1970. We don't see cowl induction here because you paid extra for that, which of course would be the air door up here, the vacuum and electric motors inside, the ductwork, which gets cold air into the engine bay, or at least directly to the air cleaner, and brings with it hood pins. Now, not everybody wanted that, but again, under the hood of this one, well, the beauty is that of the 62,372 Super Sport Chevelles built in 1970, only 2,144 buyers had the smarts to pay $210 extra for the L78. Now, what is an L78? Well, that is the top dog 396. Now, before we go further, we have to remember that midway through 1969, the 396 actually grew to 402 cubic inches, courtesy of a 30,000th overbore. With that said, it's technically an SS402, but I won't tell anybody if you won't. But again, that L78 means aluminum intake manifold, 11 to 1 compression, 375 horsepower, 4-bolt main block, solid lifter camshaft, double pulley, uh, drive accessories here and a CKO stamping on the suffix which is present and accounted for and uh, again this is a numbers matching car four speed Muncie you could get the turbo 400 with the L78 and 69 and 70 but again this is the real deal most serious four speed car uh, heavy duty cooling F41 suspension power front disc brakes all accounted for and present on this now we look under the hood and again we see this is the underside of that power dome hood but what this one doesn't have because it's not a ZL2 cowl induction it does not have the metal shroud that would encase the single snorkel rubber base air cleaner but the funny thing is this does actually function in a way what it does is this screen here as you go down the road it does draw cool air into these ducts inside the car. So the passengers, the occupants, actually get a form of ram air. But again, the engine does not, unless you paid extra money for the ZL2 cowl induction. But again, this is a real L78 solid lifter, four-speed um, SS396. Now, the thing is, the L78 engine is essentially like the LS6 454 minus the cubes. It has the same high compression, solid cam. This is the Street Racer Special for 1970. Now, this has the standard mirrors, which is fine. The wheels on this are the new for 1969, five spoke, 14 by sevens, with correct coker reproduction. Uh, Goodyear Polyglass G7014s, and to me there's nothing better than having the right wheels and tires. Modern radials just kind of pop the illusion of originality, and these run down the road just fine. Now inside, we'll notice this one has the bench seat. Some folks say, well, hang on now, Super Sports all had buckets. That's actually not true. The center console and the buckets were extra cost. So again, this is a less is more situation with the bench seat interior. Beautiful, all vinyl, all nicely done. Four-speed Muncie M21 close ratio four-speed with the aluminum case under the hood. 
aftermarket radio with a tape player. Uh, and again, this is the basic gauge package, which is just fine. Sometimes less is more. I'm going to bet this car was purchased by somebody who wanted the hottest 396 they could get with the solid cam, the Holly four barrel, the aluminum intake, uh, but didn't want uh, the hassles of air conditioning, which you couldn't get with the L78, by the way. They wanted to go out and terrorize Roadrunners, Mach 1 Mustangs and GTOs, and this is the car to do it. Now, the rear axle in this, of course, is the 12 bolt with positive traction, and that beam hanging down below it, that's the rear anti-roll bar, part of the F41 suspension, which was standard on the Super Sport. And of course, the, uh, the Super Sport stripes, which could be deleted if you were silly. If you ask me, if you got a Super Sport, you want to flaunt that fact, and here they are, the beautifully done painted stripes, not decals, these are the correct presentations. And of course, 1970 is the one year where you had this really cool rubber mat or bumper guard, if you will, on the back with Super Sport embossed in it, and that's pressing and accounted for uh, the oval tips in stainless steel, also super sport specific and correct and accounted for. Just a nice crisp restoration of a numbers matching L78 four speed 1970. Inside the trunk, <coughs> yeah, very nice. The paint is correctly presented up, down, top side. A nice original Uniroyal bias ply spare tire with the teats still on it. How cool is that? This is a uh, 68514, not sure if that's the original tire, but it's a vintage Uniroyal, kind of a cool thing right there. Uh, the trunk mat and the trunk floor are beautiful. The Zolotone paint is, uh, is looking really good. So just a nice car to go out and enjoy and share the, uh, the, the religion of what the big block solid lifter four speed Chevelle experience is all about. Now this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down. And while High Octane Classics is located in Auburn, Massachusetts, you don't have to live in Massachusetts to buy this car. They'll ship it anywhere on the globe, uh, but that's no problem. And trades are certainly accepted, late models, customs, hot rods, bikes, you name it, they'll certainly consider that as a possible trade. Um, and also keep in mind that High Octane Classics has been in business for 15 years. They're always looking for a qualified sales and service professionals, either seasoned veterans or newcomers with a solid work ethic. If you want to learn more, call High Octane Classics at 508 859-4515. And if you have one or 20 cars you might want to sell, well, High Octane Classics is always buying. Again, call them at 508-859-4515. And learn more about this numbers matching L78 SS396402. We know the deal. Four-speed car. Uh, check it out on the High Octane Classics website. It's a beauty.